You are knowing what you are wanting. Are you enjoying the expansion of your personal desires? Are you enjoying the sound of her cell phone? <laughs> A lot of questions. My biggest question is about family. They're overrated. <laughs> well, <laughs> that makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Have you ever had a thought about someone that was negative in nature that did not result in their immediate uh, beheading? My husband's ex-wife. She survived. She's still there. The law of attraction is not a secret. That's like calling gravity a secret. Like if you don't explain it to somebody, they'll throw something up and it won't come down. I want well, that old, I'd like that old um, girlfriend back. <laughs> or... Well, stop calling an old lady, that'll help. Yeah, she's... The new one's a bitch just like the other one was, which is interesting. Um, but I can't, you, you have said, there, you cannot give up on the desire. You can only give up on the resistance. And I've well, heard you say you, cannot, you, you should look for someone to love, not to love you back. Could I get my old girlfriend? Yeah. I want her back. Yeah. We don't blame you. She was a good one. She was? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've got a million more questions now. Um... <laughs> Let's talk about someone trying to cheer you up and you're not having any of it. And they think they're really, really funny, but they're not funny to you. I've been on the other side of that, so. But well, that's really why we're telling you this. <laughs> See, now you got me going. <laughs> now that's funny. The first thing is I want to go pee, and there's no bathrooms here, so I'm just putting that vibration out there that I'd like a bathroom. There are bathrooms, but the women have taken them all. <laughs> because women are more powerful. Yes. <laughs> more people. I don't really believe in an afterlife, heaven or hell. I really don't believe in reincarnation. I think those things are a cop out for a mediocre life. Well, then how do you explain us? <laughs> and fortunately, that's the point that we're making. If you're not including us in your all that is, we are happy that there are other all that is necessities. Because you just extinguished us from being this <laughs> if you need us to haunt you <laughs> anytime we are available <laughs> and until october 31st we are under great demand <laughs> but after that our calendar is clear I, my follow-up question has to do with, um, it's a little bit more esoteric, but uh, the, the relationship between vibrational... What could be more esoteric? <laughs> <laughs> then there's this vortex of creation, that, and everything, everything you want is in there. And you have to find some way of creating a vibrational atmosphere so that what's in there can flow over here. <laughs> he 
You're a group of entities. Are we a group of entities? Yes, too? we are all infinite intelligence. Ah. We are just more intelligent. <laughs> so, three years ago, I started studying your material, and it was mainly <clears throat> to cure myself of mental illness, which pretty much has been done. And now I have to like get a job. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why did the chicken cross the road? Now let's talk about humor. Uh, I, again, I don't know if that makes any sense, but well, it makes perfect sense to crazy people. <laughs> like those who have assembled here. <laughs> While horses could not keep me from it. It doesn't matter what you say about it, Abraham. I don't even care if you tell me she's the devil. I want her. <laughs> I'll give her a ring tonight. <laughs> I've got I've got another question if that's why was she so angry at the end? Because she was not a vibrational match to the vortex version that the two of you created. The, 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 that the two of us created. Yeah. The two Isn't of Isn't she made... creating vibrational escrows with other people as well? None of your business. None none of my business? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Let cool. it go. Yeah, I'll get that. You want it and don't have it, and we don't care. <laughs> because if we cared about what you want and don't have, no one would be holding the light about what you want. Someone's got to keep the faith. And it's us. <laughs> so when you want it and don't have it, we still party. <laughs> we talk about how it was a close call on that one. <laughs> and how you almost, you almost had it. We talk about how you were walking down the street, he was walking down the street, you were in a bad mood and you turned the wrong way. We talk about that. We talk about the veritable fortune that you've amassed and how you deprive yourself of it. And we don't laugh at you, but we think it's funny. There are a lot of people who would disagree with us, but they would be wrong. Now that's funny. <laughs>